Okay, so. <laughs> Brutal KO. Brutal TKO. Um, Curtis Blades, TKOs, uh, Overeem. And it, and it was like brutal, man. It was split, split, split. It was like he just was, it was like he was trying to chop a birthday cake by just slamming the knife into the cake. My goodness. Blades is right. Razor Blades is right. We figured it out now, you know, and everybody, you know, we were watching, everybody's looking at the fight. We're all looking like, come on, you know, go ahead and get the finish. You only had one little moment where you were, you know, Curtis Blades only had one little moment where he was, um, maybe hurt a little bit by that knee, but you know, other than that, he was able to take him down, you know, have a, you know, a lot of top control time. Um, he really was dominating the fight. He really was dominating the fight. It was really nice to see him see that opening and just go for it. Overeem was not in that. Overeem, ah, man, can you believe? I was just talking, man, we were just talking. Overeem used to be like one of my favorite heavyweights. Overeem would come in looking like a damn mutant. KOing people, and he was very aggressive. And now, you know, it, it's... Uh, I don't know what to say, but, you know, I don't know how many KOs it takes to turn out a light switch, but, um, and that's not a riddle, you know what I'm saying? But he needs to figure that one out. He needs to figure, it's not a riddle for me. It might be a riddle for him, but he needs to figure that one out because he's taking brutal KOs. Um, this one, Curtis Brazer Blades almost split his head in two. Nganu. Almost took his head clean off his neck. Stipe. Forgot how Stipe KO'd him. Uh, was it on the ground? Ground strikes? Something like that. Either way, three losses. He's 0-3 in his last three fights. I believe he's 0-3 in his last three fights. Yeah, I believe he's 0-3 in his last three fights. And he has been KO'd in all of them. You know, that heavyweight division is... It's brutal, man. It is brutal. You're going to get knocked out in that division. That division is dangerous. You know, they call 155 murderer's row or maybe, you know, or the, the toughest weight class. Heavyweight is the most dangerous weight class. And we're seeing it right now. Overeem is walking that thin ass, dangerous ass line right now. Anyway, shout out to Curtis Blades. Congrats to him for the win. And congrats to him for the finish. You know, congrats to him for the finish. He says he wants a title shot next. I don't think so. I don't think so. I think one more fight. One more fight against, you know, he's had a lot of old heads. Maybe against the, gosh, I'm not even sure. That weight class is so damn old. Maybe he is next. I don't know. Maybe he is next. Now it'd be funny if D if DC beat um if DC beat Stipe, I think DC would gladly fight Curtis Blades. Um, but you know, it is what it is. It is what it is. It was um a good fight to watch the whole time. Everybody, hey Joe Rogan, you need to finish this fight right now. Ah, we you've got it, bro. Just go for the finish. Okay, okay, you know. I don't always agree with Joe Rogan, but I was agreeing with him. I was like, come on, man. Yeah, come finish the fight. You know, we're all, we're excited to see you fight. We're all kind of, we like your, we like you. Finish the fight now. You know, don't just, just do this dangling thing. So um, he went and did it. He listened to Joe. He heard him out there and he finished the fight. So once again, congrats to Curtis Blades. And um, as always, you know, thumbs up, subscribe, and um now it's time for the main court. <laughs>